Hi all and uh, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bog. This video is going to be about a line that Kenner uh, brought out in the early 80s called the Fast 111s or Fast 1s depending on which way you look at it. The it's, it's a line not a lot of people have heard of or seen. Some of us in North America will remember this line when it did come out but others overseas may have never seen it or never heard of it but uh, Kenner in the 1980s decided they're gonna do uh, some die-cast vehicles to compete with Matchbox, uh, Corgi, Whiz Wheels, uh, Hot Wheels of course. Uh, it, it, it only ran for, the series only ran for a, a few years before it was discontinued. Uh, it was either not uh, viable for them so as you can see is a Kenner who who is now owned by Hasbro uh, you know Kenner was famous for the Star Wars line Hasbro for GI Joe and when the two merged uh, later on it, it's but uh, most people are familiar with care uh, would be familiar with uh, the diecast line of uh, the Fast 111s pr produced around 1980 and styled after the wildest Hot Wheels and Johnny Lightnings, but their popularity and uh, but their popularity and speed could never compete with either of them. Uh, still, Kenner tried to do <coughs> this line and slowly and steadily gaining popularity as a collectible. It can still be purchased pretty cheaply, around two to four bucks, depending or two to six, depending on if it's carded or uncarded. These ones here didn't cost me very much. You know, under 50 cents a piece uh, from a, uh, a a local guy here on uh, on a buy and sell site. So it, it was worth it for me to get it. As you can see, some of mine are in good shape, some of mine are in so-so shape, and some of mine are in very excellent shape. Uh, the, the, the range, it, they did come out with is like a 1980 Firebird, a Trans Am, a Mustang Cobra, Corvette Stingray and various other uh, you know fantasy cars of theirs uh, uh, recently Kenner uh, produced a five car set of uh, 64 uh, scale uh, based on a movie of Batman Forever and our uh, th those ones are slowly rising but you know they discontinued them out I think 82 83 because they like I said they couldn't compete but you can see these ones here are some of the really cool ones that I have managed uh, to get uh, as you could see uh, I've made a, a few shorts videos on some of them so you might recognize a few such as this one here which is the Saturn seeker which uh, uh, Lawrence from uh, up closely with with Lawrence, he he said it kind of looks like a villain's bat Batmobile kind of thing. So I thought that was pretty cool, but it, it kind of does, and it's a neat little neat little fantasy type vehicle. So that's you know that's pretty cool to to see this one. Now the biggest claim to fame <coughs> with these vehicles is they gave you these very large bumpers and on the bumper had a license plate and that was a really cool thing if you collected a certain amount of these vehicles you could send in to canner <coughs> the per price of purchase <coughs> excuse me and the you what you would get back is a metal license plate i think with your name on it or something like that and it said fa uh, fast one 11s on it but it was really and the license plate was metal so that's really cool so this one here is the Saturn Seeker and it's in very very nice shape considering its age uh, this one here is the one second here I think it's it's this one there they call it the mighty mule cruiser uh, the thing is is that they really didn't name any of these except on the package but as you can see this one is in really nice shape the tampos are kind of 
a, a really nice shape they're all good the paints all there but again uh, the, the big issue was when they did these ones the license plate was a sticker so a lot of the times it it fell off so dried out and fell off so it was always missing on these models when if you get them on second hand market or second used but it's in you can see it's just in really nice shape uh, the other two which are these ones they call them the 4x4 custom vans <clears throat> uh, same thing had the big uh, rear bumper with the license plate and this one is like an emergency unit too so there was different variations of the same uh, models too in different colors and different uh, liveries and schemes but it's a really cool uh, looking van along with this blue one which is a little bit rougher shape missing a lot of paint uh, bumpers broken wheels are kind of loose and iffy but still a very very nice example of what Kenner uh, came out with in the 80s <clears throat> you also have one oh, let's go with this one here an example like this which is like a, a fantasy type uh, model I think this one called they call this uh, the outlaw I'm, I'm not entirely sure why and I'm trying to see but it's 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 also a uh, like a, a mixture of like a Z28 Camaro like a Camaro van but it is a fairly funky looking vehicle but this one is in fairly rough shape it's been drawn on but you know for to, to show kind of an example of what it is it's kind of a pretty neat uh, looking model and you can see each license plate had like a different state on it so it's really neat to see this one and you got one that they sometimes did bring out ones that you would kind of recognize <coughs> this one here is a BMW <coughs> 3 series coupe for like a racing version and this one here the paint is you know damn near completely gone on in certain spots but the license plate is still intact so that's kind of funny but they're plastic uh, you know bases metal bodies as you can see the paint is very badly worn away on them but it's another nice example of the kind of cars that Kenner did bring out you also have one like this which is like almost looks like a Porsche Can-Am car uh, they call this a I'm trying to see here I wrote it down but I can't seem to find it now but it's a it's like a racing type vehicle but it's in really good shape the tampos are all there uh, paint is in really good shape even the license plate is license plate is there let's see if I could show you a little bit better and this one is from my home province of Manitoba so that's pretty cool I didn't even notice that until now nice so it presents my people and it's in really awesome awesome shape I'm kind of curious as to know is if you know they, they released different <laughs> <coughs> excuse me versions of uh, sticker sheets or something like that where you could put the license plate on from let's say different countries like in the United States or in Canada on different provinces so that's kind of neat I didn't even notice that before and then we have this one here which is like a formula opens or formula special open or open special of a, like a formula one type car and it's in really beautiful shape all the tampos and and uh, paint is mostly there but again it's the same thing as Manitoba license plate <laughs> and that's really awesome I never noticed those before 
but it is a nice nice example of that car so I hope this is you know kind of helped everybody out if you've never seen these type of vehicles from Kenner the fast 111s uh, to to see what what they did kind of bring out and I uh, hopefully you know you do like this video uh, please leave a comment and a like if you do I thank you very much for watching and I'll see everyone in the next video